Omega level mutants are people who have both unlimited potential and control over their powers. That's why like Wolverine is not considered an Omega level mutant. Welcome back, this is Jack. There are many powerful members of the X-Men and I'm just talking about three of the most powerful and I'm technically cheating with one of them. Start off with the obvious one, the Phoenix Force. Now I'm saying that because that's actually three separate characters. Hey, this is the one I'm cheating on. You have, of course, Jean Grey, the first host that we've seen of the Phoenix Force and is also the first inter interpretation of what an Omega level mutant is, able to eat a planet and a sun, you know, stuff like that. You know, just casual stuff these days. You have her daughter from an alternate timeline named Rochelle Summers, whose father is Cyclops, who also has the Phoenix Force and is also insanely powerful and has been described as sometimes more powerful than her mother. And the final one is Hope Summers, the first mutant born since the House of M incident and also the perfect host for the Phoenix Force. Although we haven't seen her actually use her powers because she's still a little kid. It's been described as she's as powerful, if not more powerful than her um, than her not mom, because she's not related to anyway. That's not important. Storm. If you've only um, seen the cartoon shows and seen the movies, you would not understand how powerful Storm really is. You'd see, oh, she can cause lightning. Oh, she can cause wind. Maybe rain. Oh, hang on a minute. You would hear something you're missing. She controls all weather, which includes cosmic storms. So imagine you're at a perfectly comfortable little planet, and all of a sudden a cosmic radiation storm just washes over your planet, wiping all life from existence. She can do that. She is listed as an Omega level mutant, which for those who don't know, Omega level mutants are people who have both unlimited potential and control over their powers. That's why like Wolverine is not considered an Omega level mutant. Iceman. Bobby Drake is sometimes a joke, originally like turning himself into like a snowman for protection and then later on figuring out he can turn to ice and relatively recently finding out he could also turn into water and reform himself elsewhere. His powers are not just chronokinesis, he's also got a form of hydrokinesis because any water he's connected to when he does that, he controls. So he can turn himself into a giant ice monster and you're like, okay, cool, that's not that big of a deal. What you don't realize is he can also lower temperatures down to absolute zero or damn near. He is also an Omega level mutant. Mind you, he didn't know he had half these abilities until White Queen kind of took over his body and showed him he could do it. Although there is the alternate timeline, Age of Apocalypse, which is really cool, where he already knew he could do that, but it's also a lot serious and darker kind of universe, so go figure. There are a lot of other mutants. There is a lot of other X-Men that could be described as more powerful, less powerful, whatever. If you want me to talk about any of them, yeah, there's a comment section. Go ahead and hit me up and I'll try to explain their powers and some of their backstory if you want. And I'll guess I'll see you in the next one.